No answer. No answer. Alan, what is this all about? Please tell me immediately where the hell you are right now. Whoa, calm down a little, would you? What's the matter all of a sudden? I thought I told you I'm on a trip for work from last week. What are you talking about? Stop lying to me like that. One of your co-workers just told me that you haven't come to work for the last week. You didn't even tell them about your absence. They're worried that something might have happened to you. Wait, what? My workplace contacted you. How could they do that? Looks like you have some explaining to do. I thought you told me that you were going to go on a trip for work. Where have you been since last week then? I guess I can't hide this for any longer. It can't really be helped though. You have to find out at some point, I guess. I'm really sorry, Helen. I'm not coming back home or going back to work ever again. I want to get a divorce as soon as possible. What did you just say? You're joking, right? I've decided to take a completely different path in life. I just can't stand living with you any longer. I want out. What are you saying all of a sudden? You should have told me much earlier if you weren't happy about our relationship. We could have tried to talk things out. Also, did you forget that I'm pregnant? We're about to have a child. I'm really sorry about that, but you're going to have to raise that kid by yourself. Best of luck with that. I can no longer live with you anymore. Why are you saying this to me? I still don't understand why you're trying to leave me. Why can't you live with me anymore? Did I do something wrong to you? Not really. I just don't think that I'm ready to be a father. That's the reason? I'm not confident that I can be a mother either, but the kid is going to come either way. I didn't really want to have any kids in the first place you know. You were the one that was really insistent on having a child. You I was getting annoyed that you kept mentioning it and that's the only reason I got you pregnant. I regretted it immediately. I definitely don't want to be a father and that's why we're breaking up. If you're that desperate to have a child then go ahead. I'm not stopping you from having a child. I just don't want to be part of raising it. You're just unbelievable. You're going to just disappear after getting me pregnant. You need to take responsibility too, you know. It's our child. We all make some mistakes in life, you know. Sometimes we need to give up and just run away. You're not making any sense. Hurry up and come back home. I'm sure your company will forgive you if you go back and apologize right away. They even told me that you can have some time off if you're having a difficult time with personal problems. Please, just come back home and we can talk all this out. I thought I told you I'm not coming back. Not to home or to my job. I've already decided. I'm done with everything. I'm done with everything. I'm going to live here happily with Iris. I've already decided, and you can't change my mind. What did you just say? Iris? Do you mean my little sister? Yes, I'm going to divorce you and get together with Iris instead. Iris the only one that really understands me. She's the perfect girl for me. I think that I finally found the person that I'm destined to be with. What the hell is wrong with you? I really can't believe it. You're cheating on your pregnant wife with her little sister? You're just disgusting. Did you even think about how I would feel about this? I don't care about what you think. Iris is all I can think about these days. Everything else isn't that important to me anymore. Please just leave me alone now. What? How can you be this irresponsible? Well, I hope you have a great life. Good luck with giving birth to my baby too. What is wrong with you? Would you please explain to me what is happening between you and Alan? What do you want from me all of a sudden? You're so aggressive sometimes. I didn't think you'd contact me this quickly. I don't want to hear any excuses. Just hurry up and tell me what's happening. 
Since when have you been seeing Alan behind my back? I think I started seeing him from about a year ago. We randomly bumped into each other. We went to each other at a coffee shop and he asked me for my number. We kept in contact for a little while and really started to get along with each other. I slept with him pretty soon after we started texting. I can't believe it. You guys have been cheating on me for that long? This is all before I got pregnant, too. I'm so shocked. Why would you do this to me? I'm your sister. I already heard about your pregnancy from Alan, actually. From what I've heard, it seems like you kind of forced Alan into getting you pregnant. He told me that he never wanted to have kids. You forced him to go to a maternity clinic with you, right? I can't believe you would do all of this to someone that's against having a child. What did you just say? Are you really on his side about all of this? Of course I'm on Alan's side. He would always tell me the terrible things that you did to him. I heard that you kept pestering him about having a child and didn't care about anything else. I think that Alan wanted to spend more time with you before even thinking about having a child. None of that is even remotely true. The person that kept on pestering us to have a kid was Alan's mom. Every single time we talked to her, she would ask us when we were going to have a child. It was getting really annoying. Oh really? That's not what Alan told me at all. He was lying to you to make me look bad. Alan wouldn't tell his mom that he didn't want a child at all. Whenever we talked to his mom, he would always tell her that he wanted to hurry and have a child. That's the only reason I went to a maternity clinic. I did my best to get pregnant for the sake of Alan's mom. Now Alan's telling me that he's scared of having a child? I cannot believe him. How irresponsible of him. I will never forgive him for this. You really need to calm down, sis. We all make mistakes, you know. Nobody's perfect. Alan just made a small mistake. You really need to just forget about all this and forgive him for what happened. Forgive him? No way that's happening. How could he just run away after getting me pregnant with his child? Do you really think that he just made a small mistake? Tell him to come back and talk to me right away. If he really wants to get a divorce, that's fine by me. But we have lots of things we need to talk about. He's going to need to send me money if I'm raising this child by myself. Are you really serious? Why should we come back to talk to you knowing that all you want is money? We don't plan on apologizing to you or giving you any money. Don't expect us to ever come and see you again. What did you just say to me? You guys are not going to take any responsibility for destroying my life? I'm your sister, you know. How did we destroy your life? I don't get it. I thought you wanted to have a child anyway. You should be thankful that Alan got you pregnant. You need to be the one to take responsibility and raise your kid. Please don't involve me and Alan in any of this. It's all your problem. Are you really serious? Well, it was nice talking to you, sis. Me and Alan are planning to move to a new city and get married. Make sure you get the paperwork for the divorce done as soon as you can. Me and Alan will start our happy new life together. Goodbye, sis. Hey, Helen. It's been a while. How have you been? I didn't expect a message from you, Alan. Guess you've been doing pretty well. Remember me? It's your ex-husband. I'm glad you didn't end up blocking my number. What do you want from me after all these years? You ignored me completely back then when I desperately needed you. I never expected to get a message from you ever again. That all happened so long ago. I barely remember any of it. I know it might be a little weird that I contacted you out of nowhere, but I need to ask you for a favor. I wouldn't contact you just because I was bored. It's actually something really important. Something important? Hurry up and tell me what's going on then. It's about Iris, actually. She became really sick recently and she had to go to the hospital for a while. 
It ended up being pretty serious, and I thought that you should know because you're her sister after all. Wait, what? Is it really that serious? How is she doing right now? Not too well. The doctors told us that she has a kidney disease. Iris wasn't doing too well from last year, and it finally became so bad that she had to go to hospital. The doctors told us that she might have to think about getting a kidney transplant. She's getting a transplant? That must mean she needs to get a kidney donated to her, right? Yeah, pretty much. The doctors are saying that a damaged kidney won't really recover and that it's recommended that she gets a transplant. So we've decided that Iris is going to get the surgery for the transplant. I see. I hope the surgery goes well. I guess she's going to need to find a kidney donor before getting the surgery. I hope someone shows up soon. It's probably better for her health the faster she gets the transplant done, right? Yeah, exactly. The faster we find someone, the better it is for Iris' health. This is the reason I decided to contact you. Would you please donate your kidney to her? Wait, what? You want me to donate my kidney? According to the doctor, it's better to get a kidney from someone that is related to her. Unfortunately, me and Iris don't really get along with any of her relatives because of what happened. You're the only one that we can depend on, Helen. There's no way that I'm helping you guys out. A kidney transplant doesn't have to be a blood relative, right? Why don't you donate your kidney to her? You're her husband after all. I could never do that. It's way too scary. I think it would probably be better if it's a blood relative anyway. I read somewhere on the internet that it's better if the donor is a blood relative. Do you really believe everything that you read on the internet? Also, I'm a lot older than Iris, you know. I think that she deserves a much younger and healthy kidney in her body. I don't want her to have my kidney because I'm getting old now. You're much younger than me, so I think your kidney would be much better for Iris. What are you talking about? We're the same age, you idiot. I'm only younger than you by a few months. Stop making up a bunch of excuses just because you're scared. I'm not going to be donating my kidney to Iris. Please stop asking me now. Even though Iris is my sister, she's also the woman that stole my husband from me. She's just a traitor to me now. Why would I want to donate my organs to a traitor like her? Don't be so mean like that. You know that Iris is your only sister, right? She can't ever be replaced. You have two healthy kidneys, so stop being so selfish. We're only asking you to donate one kidney. Then why don't you give her one of yours? I'm raising our child all by myself, by the way. I don't want to risk my health for you guys. If something ever happens to me, my daughter would be all alone. So my answer is always going to be no. I am not donating my kidney to Iris. I completely forgot that we had a child. So it ended up being a girl, huh? How is she doing? Maybe the kid can donate her kidney to Iris. Are you really serious? I can go and ask the doctor if a child is a suitable donor. If the doctor says yes, then that would be perfect. I'm sure it's going to be okay. I'm so glad that I finally managed to find Iris a donor. What the hell is wrong with you? She's only three years old. There's no way I'm letting Iris have her kidney. Even if she was an adult, I still wouldn't let her donate her kidney to you guys. Well, that's a shame. I guess you're the only one that I can ask then. You understand what's happening, right? I tried asking everyone I know and still couldn't find a kidney donor. Your sister is struggling so much because of a kidney disease. You can donate a kidney to your little sister, right? It's only one, you know. How many times do I have to tell you? I am not donating either of my kidneys. What? You were serious? Could you tell Iris something for me as well? You guys betrayed me and decided to live with each other. Please don't ever involve me in any of your problems ever again. I've got to go now.
I need to leave work soon and go pick up my daughter. I can't believe you. Do you not understand how serious this all is? Are you really planning to let your little sister just suffer? She really needs your help right now. Iris in hospital struggling right this moment because she can't find someone to give her a kidney. You're just going to ignore her and go about your life? Yes, I'm planning to ignore her. Why did you think I would help in the first place? I thought you would help because you're her only sibling. Do you not remember what you and Iris did to me? You guys cheated on me for an entire year before and during my pregnancy. Then you suddenly break up with me and both of you just disappear. I couldn't get in contact with either of you. I had to raise my daughter all by myself while working. You didn't even pay me any child support or alimony. You're a total deadbeat. Now you're asking me for my kidney after ignoring me for three years? What is wrong with you both? Well, I'm sorry that happened, but it all happened three years ago. It's about time you forgot about it and moved on. Can you just forgive us and help us out just this once? You don't get to decide when to be forgiven. No matter how many years go by, it doesn't change the fact that both of you betrayed me and ruined my life. I am never, ever going to forgive either of you. Don't be like that. Your only sister is having a really tough time in hospital right this moment. You're the only one that can save her. How could you just ignore her like that? She's your family. I'm really sorry if we hurt your feelings. I'll apologize as many times as you want me to. But what happened between us has nothing to do with Iris' sickness right now. Stop making it sound like I'm the one in the wrong. You're the one that cheated on me with my little sister. You're the one that broke up with me while I was pregnant and completely ignored me for all these years. Be a man for once and take responsibility for your actions. All of this is happening because you're such an irresponsible person. Your actions have consequences, by the way. Stop depending on me only when it suits you. But what am I meant to do? If you don't donate a kidney to Iris, what's going to happen to her? She really needs the transplant badly. If she's struggling that much, then why don't you donate one of your kidneys to her? Your husband after all. It's just one kidney. Anyway, I've really got to go now. Goodbye. How could you do this to me, sis? Why don't you want to help me out? I'm having a really difficult time right now. I can't believe that you're not willing to donate a kidney to me. Be quiet. I'm the one that can't believe what is happening. I didn't expect for you to contact me as well. Alan told me everything, by the way. You're still angry that I stole Alan from you three years ago? It all happened such a long time ago. Why do you still care? Of course, I'm still angry about it. It doesn't matter how much time passes. I'm never going to forgive you guys. If that's the reason you're not helping me, then I'll apologize. Once I get healthy again, I'll come and visit you with a thank you gift. So I'm begging you. Please donate a kidney to me. If you're really that desperate, then why don't you ask Alan for one of his kidneys? The doctor said it's okay, right? The only reason he doesn't want to give you one is because he's scared of the surgery. I'd be really grateful if Alan was willing to donate me a kidney. But I don't think it's something that I should force onto my husband. What happens if the surgery goes wrong and something happens to him? I don't want to hurt Alan or damage our relationship by asking him for a kidney. That's why I'm begging you, sis. Just give me one kidney. Do you know how ridiculous you are being right now? You do know our relationship as sisters is getting worse and worse right now. You don't care about our relationship as siblings at all. Then how about this? I'll stop asking you for one of your kidneys. Could you at least give us some money to pay for my hospital bills? If you pay us the money, then I'll stop asking you. What did you just say? Now you're asking me for money? I'm really in some trouble right now. I had to pay a huge hospital bill just a few months ago as well. 
I used up all of my savings and and don't think I can pay off the hospital bills this time. I can't work because I'm so sick. Please help me out. Shut up, would you? It's your fault that you didn't save up enough money for emergencies. I bet you guys spent all of your savings buying things for each other. Be an adult and take responsibility for your own problems. Don't get me involved in any of this. How could you be so mean to me? I'm begging you, sis. Please help me out. I just thought of a great idea. How about this? If you pay for my hospital bills, then I'll lend you Alan for a few weeks. I think that would make you really happy. You'll get to spend some precious time with your ex-husband. Why would I want you to lend me Alan? That wouldn't make me happy at all. You and Alan had a child together. You can finally reunite your daughter with her father. I'm sure your daughter would be really happy. I can lend him to you for $100 a day. Isn't that a great deal for both of us? Stop messing around with me. Why should I be the one paying any money to let my daughter meet her father? If anything, you guys should be paying me money for raising her by myself. Alan should be the one begging me to have the opportunity to see his daughter. But Alan is the only thing that I can offer to you. What else can I do for you to give me a kidney and some money? You don't have to let Alan meet his daughter if you don't want to. You can just use him as a house cleaner if you really want. He can clean the toilet and the kitchen if that's what you need him to do. I really don't care how you use him. I just need the money to pay for my hospital bills. I don't want to have to be in debt just to pay off some random hospital bills. I've heard enough out of you, you idiot. You guys decided that you don't want my help the moment you ran off together. Take some responsibility for what you did and figure this out between you and Alan. You're just going to ignore me? I've got to get going soon anyway. I'm pretty busy these days. Good luck figuring this all out with Alan. Hey, Helen. How about we get back together? I want to marry you again. I want to raise our child with you this time. What did you just say? Have you gone crazy? I don't want to talk to you. It's just that I realized something when I talked to you the other day. I remembered what a great couple we used to be and started to think of you again. I've realized that you're the one that I should be with. You've got to be kidding me. It's just that everything is going so wrong with me and Iris. Iris ended up getting out of the hospital for now, but she still has to see the doctor three times a week. It's getting really difficult supporting her through all this. Well, you should continue supporting her through difficult times if you're her husband. She's only struggling because you keep refusing to give up your kidney. Stop making it sound like it's my fault. I'm doing everything that I can to support her, you know. It's just that I can't ignore my feelings any longer. I realized you're the one that I really love and I just don't love Iris anymore. It's so hard to support someone that I don't love anymore. You really are a terrible human being. Trying to run away again when things aren't going your way? It's not like that. I just want to see you and our daughter. I'm sure our daughter is very sad that she doesn't get to see her father at all. I'm sure that you're struggling to raise her by yourself as a single mother. It would be the best for all of us if I just came back. Please get back together with me. Actually, I've remarried. My daughter is doing just fine, no thanks to you. What? Why didn't you tell me? So I'm never going to be getting back together with you. My daughter is getting along really well with my new husband. You don't have to worry about her missing her father. Hold on a minute. What do you mean you got married again? How could you do this to me? I didn't hear anything about this. Why would I need to tell you about it? I'm your ex-husband. I think I deserve to know if you're getting married to another guy. I definitely would have told you not to get married to another man if I knew about this. Hurry up and get rid of him. Once you guys get divorced, they'll be happy to get back together with you again. Our child deserves to have a real father by her side. 
How can you say stuff like that? You forgot that you even had a child till I reminded you. I'm living a happy life with my husband and my daughter that I love very much. Would you just let me live in peace? I don't want to get involved with you and Iris' problems anymore. I really regret divorcing you. I can get my car and start driving to your place right now. I really mean it. Let's talk about this in person. We can go and get dinner as a family for the first time. Me, you, and our daughter. What do you guys want to eat? It'll pay for it all. Did you not understand what I told you earlier? I thought I told you that I'm really happy with my life right now. I don't need you or your problems in my life. If you try to ruin my life again, then I will definitely be taking some legal action against you. I'm pretty sure you owe me a lot of money for making me raise our daughter by myself. You should be paying for at least half her living costs, you know. What are you talking about? You know that I don't have any money that I can give you. Well, if you don't intend on paying me any money, then don't ever contact me again. Why don't you go and find another job so that you can help your wife pay off her hospital bills? Alan and Iris stopped contacting me once I started asking them to pay me the child support that Alan owed. I told my husband the entire history between me, Iris and Alan, and he was really understanding about it all. From what I've heard, Alan still hasn't donated one of his kidneys to Iris. Iris' sickness is getting worse and she is seeing the doctors about three times a week. Alan and Iris are both getting really stressed out with their situation and are constantly getting into huge arguments 